Brother Ninja is coming. Bob Risky will be released very, very soon. And protests will be starting very, very soon. What does that tell you? Hmm? What does that actually tell you? You know, we are in a crossroad when it comes to this protest. I'm going to talk about the main video is about uh, Big Brother Ninja, Bob Risky, Peace Square, a uh, unisic lecturer. But I just want to just chip this in a little bit. We are in a crossroad. You know how? The Yoruba people now no go fit. Come outside to say they want protest against uh, uh, Tunobu. Because now they are own. Because during Buari time, eh, the Northern has no complain. You understand? Nigeria is a very dynamic place. You don't know where to belong. <laughs> if you want to belong for a year, say, ah, I be like saying a wrong go. If you want to belong for a year, say, ah, I be like saying ah, they go to the wrong side. Oh. So you don't even know how where to belong. Well, guys, I'm just going to be looking. Hmm? I'm just going to be looking. But like I've said before, according to the media, what is trending is uh, Bob Risky release. Bob Risky will be released on Monday and Big Brother Ninja will commence on Sunday. You know, we're just going to get glue to our internet, get glue to that DSTV, get glue to that particular thing discussing about Bob Risky, Big Brother Ninja, who kiss, who no kiss, who knock the night, who finger who, who no finger who, who want the finger who? Who marry me? The date inside. But Brisky don't they show off again. Don't cut her breast. He never cut her breast. He don't do this one. He don't do that one. He don't do this one. He never do that one. That's exactly what we're going to be discussing again and again and again. It's just the perfect time to release it. I am not saying anything. No. I am not saying there's any conspiracy theory. I am not even for the protest or against the protest. All I'm for is a peaceful coexistence. Peaceful protest. Do not destroy people's property. Me, they're not concerning. So, I'm not even speaking for. Understand? But I'm either not saying it's a conspiracy theory. So, just think I'm by yourself. The one released by Brisky. Big Brother Ninja, don't start tomorrow. Eh? So many other things again go to come up. Well, Big Brother Ninja, like I said before, my old woman don't come and say, Adam Slink, make sure you go buy DSTV subscription because I don't remember when I buy DSTV subscription last. It don't reach more than <laughs> how many months. Like going to a year now, nobody subscribed by DSTV. Because I have so many other platforms that I do enjoy watching what I want to watch, you understand? If I will watch uh, soccer or Olympics, so I can I get yet to watch them, you understand? But still recharge your DSTV if you must do. If you must recharge it. So Big Brother Ninja is commencing tomorrow and the uh, Bob Risky will be released on Monday. Hopefully he's going to rejoin his family and friends. And of course his fans will be so 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 happy to see Bob Risky finally come back. You understand? Finally, Bob Risky will be back and uh, you know. Just gonna enjoy ourselves as usual, chill, and watch the next move. The next move. What will happen? Who Bob Risky go call out? Who he no go call out? Wait till you go where? Wait till you no go where? You understand? And um, yeah, moving past that, let's uh, watch this video from Unizik showing a lecturer, a lecturer cutting a student's hair. This lecturer is a stupid man. A really stupid man. They say, may you teach. You are a very stupid man. The lecturer is a stupid man. He need to be arrested. He need to be sanctioned. No, not arrested. Yes, if possible, arrested. Sanctioned. Sanctioned. Immediately suspended from that school. 
You are a very stupid man, lecturer. I pray you come across this video. You are a stupid person. Eh? You are a very stupid man for cutting someone's hair. Does he in any way attribute to his academics? Does that air make him not to be punctual to your class? Does that air stop him from answering questions? Does that air in any way make him to fail your exams, fail your test? How does that guy hair consign you? Eh? Because you are being paid your solar salary. Does that air stop the government from paying you salary, useless man? Eh? What has that guy done to you? That single heart that you have committed might make that guy lose his self-esteem. Why you no go court while they show Inka here? Huh? Huh? The man is a stupid man. Just saying. You are not the one paying his school fees. You are not the one feeding him. You are not the one doing nothing for him. You are cutting someone's head. You are truly a stupid man, honestly. Truly, truly a stupid man. From the bottom of my heart. You are honestly a stupid man. Hmm? Honestly a stupid man. There is what they call advice. Advise the guy. Why are you enforcing yourself? Don't you have kids at home? Is your wife bossy? That you feel like you want to take your manhood to be a man to into the class and discriminate people? Hmm? This kind of men that have nothing, they cannot say anything in their house, but they will call, come and say, I call the four Jadon. One, they oppress people with their small post made they get. God will punish you, dead lecturer. <laughs> He's a really stupid man, guys. So honestly, obviously, you guys know. See, I see him now. He looks really, really stupid. I'm not saying, okay, let's forget about that. Let's talk about Peace Square. I want to play a song. P Square and Don Jazzy are about to drop this song, and they be like saying, Me personally go outrightly criticize that song over and over and over and over and over and over again. Listen, guys. Listen again, listen again, listen. You know, before I go start to the talk, now you say, I don't play. What are you, what the hell are you talking about? He said, make I give him vitamin C, so I give him the vitamin D. I saw they pull out the rain, they follow. P Square eh, is not just uh, P Square Road Boy or the P Square franchise. They are not just this new generational singer that uh, adults listen to alone. They have old fans. No young boys want to listen to the young uh, youth, uh, young uh, kids want to listen to them. If my play that song now to my maybe radio can't play this song now to my child and my child go meet me, Daddy, Daddy, what is uh, I give him the vitamin D as I they pull out the rain they fall? How am I going to explain that to my child? How? Of course, I own the responsibility to scrutinize oh, what my kids hear and listen to and i know for sure even the radio station are going to kind of like scrutinize that particular part cut that particular side off but all the same man what is the idea of entertainers trying as much as possible to speak to pull out some negativity something that kind of like destroy our society and then they have kids at home and they will go to church they are so godly and everything. And meanwhile, you speak negativity. Of course, it's for the rabbi, it's for the money, you understand? So when it comes to money, you know, nobody will ever believe you are saying anything meaningful. Just like somebody here now. He just the teacher that sleep, you they talk rubbish. You know they make sense. Your head no correct. No listening. But okay, you know what? Indeed, maybe for a fact, eh, I'm saying rubbish. Maybe. 
Yes, yes, maybe for a fact I'm saying rubbish. It's left for you. It's entirely left for you if I'm saying rubbish or not. But uh, I know what I feel about that song. And uh, I just feel like mm, it's not that. Change your other words now. Give us that whole piece square vibe. It'll be all those uh, testy, uh, the vitamin D and the rain, the fall and everything, you know. Give us that nice vibe. You understand? Bye.